Hi there, Ricky Allen speaking. Often when I talk about Israel in prophecy, I go to the prophet Ezekiel. And there are several chapters that talk about Israel's future. But I was reading this morning from the prophet Isaiah. And I found in one chapter four specific prophecies that talk about Israel. And it talks about, well, it was Israel's future when it was presented. But now we can look back historically and see how these four prophecies have been fulfilled. The first event was to restore the land. The land was desolate. And God says, I'm going to restore the land. This is what the Lord says. In the time of my favor, I will answer you. And in the day of salvation, I will help you. I will keep you and will make you to be a covenant for the people to restore the land and to reassign its desolate inheritances. So the first prophetic event that was fulfilled in our lifetime is that the land of Israel was restored. It was no good for growing much of anything. But today, it has been restored. Then there is a second prophecy that has been fulfilled. And that is the gathering of the Jews from the various nations. He goes on to write, To say to the captives, come out. And to, to those in darkness, be free. They will feed beside the roads and find pasture on every barren hill. They will neither hunger nor thirst, nor will the desert heat or the sun beat upon them. So first there's a restoration of the land that has been fulfilled. Secondly, there's the gathering of the Jews from the various nations of the world to bring them back that is still in the process of being fulfilled. The third prophecy that has been fulfilled is bringing the Jews back to their land. The Lord goes on to say, Can a mother forget the baby at her breasts and have no compassion on the child she has born? Your sons hasten back and those who laid you waste depart from you. Lift up your eyes and look around. All your sons gather and come to you. And so first, there was the restoration of the land. Secondly, there was the gathering of the Jews from the nations. Thirdly, there was the bringing the Jews back to their land. And then fourth, God was going to so prosper the people in the land that there's not going to be enough room for them. Listen to this. Though you were ruined and made desolate and your land laid waste, now you will be too small for your people. And those who devoured you will be far away. The children born during your bereavement will yet say in your hearing, this place is too small for us. Give us more space to live in. <laughs> Four prophecies that the prophet Isaiah made back in the 700 BC era have been fulfilled in our lifetime since 1948. The land has been restored. God gathered the Jews from the nations. God brought back the Jews to their land and the land is too small for so many Jews coming back to the land. When it comes to prophecy, you can depend on this word because what God says he is going to bring forth, he will bring forth. Thanks for watching.